Compared to results from a multiple file, it's quite important. It is important for gating, it's important for clusters as well. So, like we say before, in summary, it's better if you have one gate selected or file selected. But we want to compare now all these five files and all whatever we built in the five files. So we go to our folder, complain, compare, and immediately we will see that we can compare. It's giving us the summary of all the phenotype and how the phenotype behave in all the files. We go to our statistics table and we have a lot to see. So what we do, we go to the filter table and we start to filter. What we are interested in is CD4 positive, CD8 negative, and what you are interested in here is TCR positive. And we got already our comparison. We can see that in our comparison, we get the number of cell, number of clusters, and percentage of part and percentage of total. After we did this, what we want, we want to build and extract these clusters. So we click and we do an extraction. Now we did an extraction and the extraction is coming with the default name. We can set up our custom name and we can say that this is CD4 plus and we get our CD4 plus. And you can see that our CD4 plus is the same of what we did extract before, obviously. Now, after we did this, what we can do, we can go and uh, to graph logic directly and graphing the result. So we go here, we have our result already graphed for us. And you can see again, cell, number of cluster, percentage of part, and percentage of total. And then you decide what to do with this number. Thank you very much.